Lights, camera, cue, Albert Einstein. That's the Nobel Prize winner behind the wheel with his second wife, Elsa, in the passenger seat. The film's premiere came Wednesday night at the screening in New York City, 87 years after it was shot. To come across something that is just so joyous and so kind of universal. Really, it's just, it's like, you know, archive nerd heaven. Becca Bender found the silent 35 millimeter nitrate print in boxes of home movies belonging to the co-inventor of Kodak's Kodachrome while working at Lincoln Center in New York last year. When you find this and you see Einstein, what did you think? I was absolutely floored. I, I honestly don't know if there's like a more exciting name to see. Newspaper clips from February 1931 report the professor was persuaded to get behind the wheel on his visit to Warner Brothers' first national lot. And then it specifically says in the article that the master negatives were destroyed and the only print was given to the Einstein. And that was when I was basically like, I have the only print of this film. Bonnie Marie Sauer is the archivist for Lincoln Center Performing Arts. It's pretty rare, I, although kind of one of the fun things about being an archivist is that every day you're finding something cool and learning something new, but never quite Einstein. A rear projection effect sends the theoretical physicist who never drove and Elsa on a three-minute whirlwind adventure. Why is it so special? Is it because it's so old? Is it because it's Einstein? Is it because he's laughing? Is it because he's seemingly driving? You know, there's this, in, this incredible universal love for him. Um, and it's just such a charming film. Like, it's just so, it's just so heartwarming. But with Bender's discovery, audiences can see for themselves the charm of a scientist driven to understand the world. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, New York.